<laughs> Technically, it's a branch of computer science. Uh, but since uh, the beginning, uh, in the 80s, in one sense, and um, in the maybe a little bit before, in a, in another perspective, uh, it also uh, it is always being recognized as a highly interdisciplinary field of studies. And the the, the idea of a human computer interaction is to study computers, to study techno digital technologies today, but with a strong perspective on how people use it. And the idea, of course, is to go to do to do both the design, partially the implementation, as our computer science uh, uh, disciplines, but also the evaluation to measure to to try to understand the, how well it works. Uh, of course, uh, this idea of uh, the, this emphasis on the design part and then the evaluation brought since the beginning a uh, human computer interaction on the, the, the limit, on the border of computer science and crossing the other disciplines that has to do with the measurement in some sense, understanding human beings, which of course are psychology on one side and sociology on, on the other side. And of course, design. Uh, so the objective of our master course is to take human computer interaction in a very peculiar perspective. Uh, in Italy, in Europe, uh, in general, there are two ways basically to, to approach to the, the, the design, this part of the design. One is through computer science, and so doing the, the typical computer science and ended up to do front end design. On the other side, uh, you can do this kind of career in the typical design prospects, I said, the, the academias and the um, and other related courses. While for us, we, we try to propose, and we are the, the, the only one in Italy, and not the only one in Europe, but the only one in Italy, in which we try to broach this uh, perspective of understanding, in, in a true sense, uh, human beings. So what we want to do is to try and this uh, a new generation of research and professionals that is able to truly understand the complexity of human beings, and to bring these expertise, this understanding in, into the design. So if you're looking for a design in a more artistic way, in a more visual design, we can do something for you, but probably this is not the right place. If you're looking for computer science to do front-end developer, again, we can do a little bit for you. We are, this is an interdepartmental master, but again, my suggestion is try to go to computer science. Well, if you want to take this perspective of uh, design as a way of dealing with complexity, this is the right place. Because complexity is not on the visual part, it's not in the artistic, which is, of course, very, very important. But the, the complexity does not lie there. And so for, for us, what we want to do is to provide a starting point for both the, or either, let's say, an academic research in the field of ACI or a uh, uh, let's say, a more a professional or an academic uh, uh, career. And uh, as I told you, the, the, the two former students are a wonderful example of this, the, the, because they're both these paths. Path. Uh, so what we want to do is to develop an understanding of HCI as an academic discipline first, but also as a professional field, and to ground the knowledge in solid methodological basis. Uh, and so we are take seriously, as I tell you in a moment, uh, uh, the um, the methodological part. Uh, it is an interdepartmental program. We work together with the colleagues uh, at the, um, uh, the Department of Computer Science, which is in Povo, uh, in the outskirts of Trento. So uh, as you understand, so people that are here probably know the the, the places. Uh, Trento and Rovereto are slightly far apart, not too much. Uh, in big cities uh, like uh, Milano or Tokyo, probably there will be two boroughs, but uh, in Trento, there are two towns. Uh, but uh, I think that uh, this idea of living in two departments, in with this very broad uh, diversity, can provide a value uh, in terms of uh, accessing different mindset, uh, so, so different laboratories, different attitudes, and so on. Uh, of course, the teaching schedule uh, for compulsory and elective courses takes, I mean, they, they, we try to, to, I mean, not try, we will do, we will take into account these differences. So 
we will do a couple of days in Povo and three days uh, in uh, Rovereto. Uh, furthermore, we have a, a joint uh, research lab with Fondazione Bruno Castro, which is a very large research center in, uh, in Trento, in Povo, just uh, in front of the Department of Computer Science. Uh, uh, Fondazione Bruno Castro is, is a research, not, not a teaching education, uh, but thanks to this uh, joint research lab, there will be a lot of opportunities of internship and uh, uh, research experience there. Uh, just a very quick uh, um, look at the courses that we offer. Uh, we divided uh, our course in more or less uh, three different uh, uh, parts. One core and three different aspects. Uh, we we want to provide a core understanding of human computer interaction. Uh, at the very beginning, we are offering two alternative courses. One is bridging uh, human computer interaction to psychology, and the other is bridging to computer science. And the idea is that uh, we uh, encourage people. Uh, students from either psychology or computer science to join our. So the first course will be to try to get the, the other half, the half you are missing. So if you come from psychology, you will take a bridge into computer science. And if you come to computer science, you will bring uh, you, you will take a bridge into psychology. Then we will do the basic uh, uh, aspects, theoretical and practical aspects of HCI, uh, which is participatory design, cognitive ergonomic, prototyping, design epistemology and ethics that in our last uh, couple of years uh, we brought it from an elective to a compulsory course because uh, we think that uh, it's very very important and timely to 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 get a, a deep understanding of ethics in designing um, and then on the elective side for the course so the, the things that you can choose that are decision making process and digital nudging uh, again, this is something that today technologies are, are uh, a way of dealing. We have human language technology, language and social cognition. Uh, next year, we will add a, a new course on uh, computational linguistics and natural language interfaces that I think are very important with the advent of uh, large language model and artificial intelligence. Then we have a very strong focus on methodology, as you see. Uh, here there are not uh, no electives, there are also, all, only compulsory courses because we believe that people uh, um, uh, getting a graduation from us, they, they need to have a very solid methodological grounds. And so you, you have to take both qualitative and quantitative methodology. And also we have a, another course on visual brain and design uh, because we believe that uh, in the future, brain-computer interfaces could be a, an interesting opportunity for, for the future. And, uh, and this is a department with a very strong uh, research and knowledge in, uh, in brain, in neuroscience. And of course, we, our, we don't offer a lot of courses in brain-computer interfaces, uh, but uh, we think that uh, it is, will be a waste of opportunities uh, if you a graduate year without a, a, a little bit of information of, of understanding of a neuroscience. Then we have an area of social interaction and an area of multimodality. Uh, in both, for both of these areas, you will be required to do a, one course, so in particular social interaction and effective computing, effective computing and more or less artificial intelligence in our, from our point of view. And, uh, and then you can choose to focus on one or the other. And uh, we are going to offer uh, as elective the, for the social interaction area, design for social inclusion and uh, educational technology, and for the multimodality, multisensory interaction and cognitive neuroscience and technology. This uh, last course is more or less on brain computer interaction or, or ne applied neuroscience, you see. And uh, and I now leave the floor to Professor Steiner. Okay, thank you. So aside from the courses that uh, Professor Zancanaro just mentioned, there are more credits for uh, the students to take. Uh, among those, there are 12 freely uh, choosable credits that you can uh, spend either uh, as a research uh, 
project uh, within this uh, university or uh, in uh, within an agreement that the University of Trento has with other uh, research universities. Um, you can even tailor it down as a project work, so meaning an uh, individual work, uh, an individual research uh, project. I will say something more about it uh, in a second. So in a way, uh, we thought about this course as a possibility for you to tailor it down in, uh, let's say, having more time to study and do research on things that are uh, of particular interest uh, to you. So um, aside from uh, the courses that Professor Giancanaro mentioned, the idea of having a project work, you're also required to have um, an internship uh, that can be taken either in this area. Uh, Professor Zancanaro uh, mentioned it uh, as uh, here in in uh, in FPK or uh, somewhere uh, or somewhere else. So to clear it out, uh, probably better six credits can be. Um, used to do a research, a project work within uh, a unity and lab or FPK or with other professors you're particularly interested in, uh, they can be part of the 12 credits that I just mentioned uh, before. In addition to that, you are uh, all of the students are requested to take an internship for 18 CFU plus the thesis for the same uh, amount. The internship itself can be both a research internship or can be an experience where you actually uh, work in a, in a setting where HCI can be uh, better explored or specific areas of, of HCI can be better explored. Now, all of this is uh, also possible because the University of Trento has got a lot of uh, possibilities for you to study abroad. Um, there is a long, these, uh, these are just a couple of examples with which uh, this uh, master has, um, uh, has strong relationships with. But aside from these, the University of Trento has got a lot of uh, a lot of other bilateral and Erasmus uh, agreements uh, as well. So this is these are just one of uh, some that we uh, suggest, but in the past years we have had students going uh, also to other uh, places aside from these uh, that we mentioned. Yeah, 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 and of course, uh, of course, yes. Now, uh, when we look a little bit at the history of this um, of this master, we see that it has had uh, a strong and fairly steady uh, growth in terms of uh, participants that uh, are selected for the master. So we select two typologies of students, uh, EU and non. EU students. So classes are somehow composed, I would say, probably half and half uh, students coming from, e from the EU and students coming from outside of the EU. So it's a very uh, challenging and very dynamic uh, environment in which to study and also experience your, uh, uh, experience your, uh, uh, you know, projects and uh, and research. So this year we are currently selecting the non-EU students and we have had, we're very happy because we have had a lot of uh, applications as well. So we expect to have really a strong uh, cohort uh, coming in. In terms of backgrounds, uh, they are very diverse. As Professor Zancanaro told you, it's uh, it can be computer science as a BA, but we have had uh, students with very, very different uh, backgrounds. So what happens to our students once they graduate from these um, from these uh, from this master, well, we are happy to see, to say and to see that the vast majority of our uh, well, actually, the, the the total majority of our students gets a job uh, practically immediately. They uh, they get jobs in areas that are uh, pertinent 
to what they have been uh, studying uh, in here. And they seem, uh, from what I know, because I, I, I also maintain a lot of uh, contact with, this, uh, with the students, they are uh, present in different, uh, in different areas, as we will hear from the two former students that are uh, with us. So both research and, uh, um, and more, uh, uh, let's say, uh, business-oriented uh, work. Okay, I guess. The mm -hmm. answer is not on the slide that there are thirty seats, thirty positions yes. in the in the course. So thirty is the maximum. Thirty-five, I think, this year mm -hmm. are the, the the maximum number of people. So what you saw here was actually the applications, not the number of students that we have. So this was the the, the people that applied. Okay, so it, it was thirty. Position did from, from last for next year there will be thirty five. Um, okay, so we can leave the floor to uh, to our students, and I think that uh, we can start with Christina maybe. Uh, that uh, Christina is now uh, doing her PhD uh, work, and so Christina, the floor is yours. Um, thank you a lot. Um, hello, everybody. I don't know who sees me. I don't know how you guys are seeing me right now, but yeah, will, yeah, okay. I'll quickly introduce myself. Um, so my name is Christina. I am a second year PhD student at Indiana University at Bloomington, US, and I'm doing my PhD in informatics with a minor in gender study. And I mean, I, I'll tell you a little bit about myself and how this master helped me in like my trajectory and like what I'm doing right now. So I worked a little bit in the industry, but then I decided that it was more fun to do research because I think research is a very fascinating part of, and then it's a very fascinating job. And I feel like this master in Trento actually allows you as a student to have a good theoretical understanding and framework to then proceed as a researcher in your career. But also, as I guess Roberto will let, like tell you later, it actually allows you also to have practical skills and the know-how that is very useful in the industry. So it's a very good equilibrium between like research and doing academic work and do industry job. So it was a perfect fit for me. And at this moment, I'm just like, you know, researching HCI and doing the classic stuff that you do when you do a PhD, which is a lot of reading um, for my case and a lot of research. But if you are in that stage on life in which you don't know what you're going to do next, you don't know if you're going to do research, you don't know if you want to do a PhD or continue study, if you don't know if you're going to do like industry job, I feel this master is a very good choice because it expands the possibilities of your further career. That's my, I would say, my take on this master. Yeah, thank you. Christina, uh, then uh, I will leave the floor to Roberta. And maybe then there, if there are a uh, question for, for both first, and then so Roberto, the floor is yours. Hello, everybody. So my name is Roberto Venditti. I currently work in a company in Rome called Deep Blue as an interaction designer. And actually, I'm here thanks to Nitrento master's degree in HCI, because literally uh, when I was there, there was this internship opportunity with this company. And, uh, you know, I applied for it and then I kind of was I was hired by them. So it was really smooth. So it's all thanks to Unitrento at the end of the day, because what we did here, what I did here, those two years that I was there. So basically my background it was in psychology and I worked a couple of years as a graphic designer. So let's say I was able to draw th things on a screen, basically, in a nutshell. So thanks to the courses taught at Unitrento, I feel like I really stepped my game up in a sense because I really learned the methodological skills about researching stuff and uh, designing more high level processes, services and products other than the just you know pushing pixels on a screen. And literally what was taught to me in those courses, for example, things such as qualitative research, quantitative research, prototyping, interactive systems, etc. The courses mentioned by the professors. I'm actually doing this, these things daily in my job. So it's great, actually. 
And uh, really, I, I got many opportunities out of it. And just to make you understand the company I'm working on it in this moment, Deep Blue. So we, for example, we, I thanks to HCI and the skills I gained, I can work in uh, fields such as aviation or uh, healthcare, this kind of thing, which I didn't know anything about it. But of course, thanks to my skills acquired at HCI, I now can design system used on aircraft or air traffic controllers and things like that. So really, it gives you a broad knowledge that you can apply in many fields. So you should take a, you should definitely look into it if you looking for like a broad education which however gives you practical skills that you can use in many different ways if there are uh, some questions for uh, uh, either Christina or Roberto uh, maybe we can take it now so that they can be free to go to their duties is Friday afternoon and I guess that they have to close their week and also take a weekend uh, so if there are questions for them, uh, uh, maybe we can take it now, but then we will move to the administrative part and uh, uh, and then uh, we are here for for, for all the, the other questions. Uh, is there something in the chat? Or... Also, if you want to have a question in Italian, there's... See the something in the chat window. Ah, okay. Uh, okay, so thank you again, Christina Roberto, for, for your time and for being here. And uh, have a nice uh, end of the week. And uh... Thanks, you too. Ciao, ciao. Bye. Ah, okay, I'm going to Okay, I'm Michele Dell'Orco, I'm head of uh, Student Service Division of Psychology and Cognitive Science area here in Rovereto. Uh, I'd to provide you with some information regarding the application procedure, selection procedure, enrollment, and so on. Uh, according to the call for application, uh, as already mentioned by the coordinator, Professor Zancanaro, the number of places uh, reserved to European, uh, Italian European students uh, uh, is uh, 15. Uh, in addition to this, uh, some uh, for places uh, could be available in case of uh, no new students uh, some way withdraw from the admission procedure. The application online is currently open and the deadline to submit your application at the end of May. A compulsory admission fee of 15 euros will be required to you before closing and submitting the application. So you can find this link on our web pages uh, uh, admission with the link uh, to the application. Admission requirements. First of all, a bachelor or higher degree obtained to be obtained by the end of September uh, this year. So you can apply, you're allowed to apply, although you haven't Mm, obtain your degree yet, but this uh, strict uh, uh, deadline uh, is uh, uh, end of September to obtain your uh, bachelor degree in order to be enrolled in the master course. Second requirement, to have a knowledge of English language at minimum level B2. You can prove this uh, different ways. Uh, submitting a certification knowledge uh, issued by a 
um, international uh, uh, knowledge um, institution like Cambridge, IELTS, TOEFL, Trinity, and so on by mid-September or submitting a transcript of records, uh, um, attesting, uh, confirming that you passed uh, a B2 level exam uh, uh, of English or self-certification uh, that you are mother tongue uh, and English speakers and uh, or a bachelor or master degree obtain uh, awarded in one of these uh, countries like United States, uh, UK, Australia, New Zealand, and so on. University of Trento offers the opportunity to students uh, who uh, haven't yet uh, uh, certification of English to take the exam at our Linguistic Language Center. And three sessions are available in May, July, and uh, within mid-September. So if you need to take the exam, you can also use this golden opportunity for free at our language uh, center. Admission criteria, the assessment committee will be evaluating your, uh, your uh, application according to this criteria and giving up to, uh, signing up to 100 points, uh, divided, distributed these, uh, in these um, fields, academic background and reference letter, statement of purpose to be written in English language, in which you are going, uh, you are required to support your application in a regional way, but also as self-presentation video pitch. So you will be required to record a short video of yourself uh, in some way explaining your motivation, the reason why you are applying for this master course. Furthermore, the committee could also require you to have to get a little, bit, uh, little short interview uh, just in case they want, they would like to to get into details in your application. And then third criteria, the relevance of your previous studies and experience, uh, so job experience, uh, internship, research experience, uh, uh, according to the contents of this master course. So up to 100 points, uh, the minimum to be considered eligible is 50 points out of 100. The mission ranking list uh, will be published uh, on our website by the end of June 2024. So the first admitted students uh, are required to be required to confirm immediately their place uh, within uh, a week at latest uh, and paying a confirmation fee or refundable of 100 euros. In case of no confirmation received by you, uh, we consider you as withdrawing from the master course uh, and we will be we be will notify uh notify sorry um yeah the admission to the other students uh, scrolling down the the ranking list uh, and so admitting the other eligible students uh, in the ranking list a roman procedure for european students uh, starting from usually starting from the end of july so the end of july you will require to uh, complete your um around the procedure till the end of September. As already said, this is a two years programs. Classes are starting from September, mid-September, give or take uh, 120 credits in order to, to be graduated. And uh, uh, the course attendance is not compulsory, but we warmly recommend it. Some classes uh, going to be, to take place uh, on Trento Hill campus, uh, but the bulk of the other classes uh, here in Rovereto, the Department of Psychology and Cognitive Science. Tuition fees, scholarship, accommodation. Um, Opera Universitaria uh, is the part institution of the University of Trento dealing and managing all the issues regarding accommodation and uh, tuition fees ex exemption and uh, scholarships. And uh, usually mid-June, uh, Opera Universitaria issues um, its uh, uh, call for application and you can apply for it uh, in order to, to get accommodation or, and or the scholarship. 
all this very important based, um, everything is based on your ISEE um, calculated at one of tax offices, the so-called CAF, everywhere in Italy. Um, because according to the ISEE, your uh, tuition fees uh, could be partially or also totally reduced uh, according to this. So recommendation to get your ISEE calculated, yeah, starting from now, the end of September. Very quickly, I like every time I give a presentation, I like to, to mention our services facilities, among these, uh, our amazing libraries. Uh, one of them uh, is uh, here in front of our building. Also the possibility to have a membership with the Unisport, uh, Unisport membership uh, and practice a lot of sports with the other students and uh, people of the university community. As mentioned, the language center where you can take exams, uh, uh, 10 courses, or or the, the other other languages we train to up used by our students in order to check out uh, uh, devices, uh, classes at night table, uh, the record books, uh, so on. Above all of this, uh, the free circulation yearly piece pass uh, is very important, allowing the students uh, to um, to use the public transport in the region Trentino for free just paying 50 euros once, particularly for students of human computer interaction master course uh, who have uh, maybe are in Trento, have classes here or here, are classes on Trento Hill. So for free, you can use the train, buses, uh, and uh, coaches, um, just having this uh, free circulation card. And above all, I like to mention every time uh, the several opportunities, golden opportunities for our students. Although this master course is already a very international study environment, you will have the poss possibility to, to go abroad and uh, combine also combine different uh, mobilities, such as uh, Erasmus Plus for study, our one of our um, the university partners uh, of the Department of Psychology and Cognitive Science. So Erasmus for taking exams abroad in Europe or bilateral agreements to go to Japan, United States, South America, or Israel, not yet, not now, but in the future, uh, Australia, and take courses, uh, exams uh, over there. But also other two other very interesting possibilities, this uh, mobility for traineeship in open call, like the mobility for theater research, uh, allowing you to go abroad, choosing an uh, institution, uh, doing tra traineeship, internship abroad, and or a theater research. So you can also combine more than one of these uh, mobility opportunities uh, in the same year, usually the second year of your master course attendance. Uh, to wrap up, just uh, go and surf and uh, check uh, all the information thoroughly described and explained in details uh, on our web pages, the master course, uh, starting from prospective students, and uh, yeah, on this human computer interaction, particularly regarding the, um, the applying application procedure.